Question 11. A shop sells scarves and hats. Scarves are £7.95 each, no matter which one you buy. The hats are different prices though. They are £4.50, £6.50 and £3.99. It says Ben buys one of the scarves and the £4.50 hat. So he's spending £7.95 and he's spending £4.50 on the hat. He's not, he's not interested in either of these two hats. So actually these two prices might as well not be there. You don't need to do them. First thing we've got to do is figure out how much he's spending all together. So he's spending £7.95 and £4.50. So if we do a quick addition column method, 5 plus 0 is 5, 9 plus 5 is 14, put your 4 in, carry the 1, 7 plus 4 is 11, plus that 1 is 12. So all together he's spending £12.45. But that's not the answer we put in here. The answer we put in here is what change he gets from £20. Now there's two ways you can do this. You could count up from £12.45 until you get £20 to see what the difference is. So we could say, right, £12.45. If I round that up to the next whole number of pounds, it's going to take me 55p. And that would get me to £13. And then from £13 up to £20, which is where I need to get to, because that's what I'm paying with, that's an extra £7. So, altogether, from £12.45 to £20, that would be £7.55. So it looks like the answer is £7.55. If you did want to do it using a cold method, you could have done this. You could have done 20, take away £12.45. A bit trickier to do as a cold method because there's lots of zeros at the top. But nevertheless, we'll have a go. Zero take away five we can't do. Can't borrow from here because this is zero. Can't borrow from here because this is a zero. So the only place we can borrow from is here. So we make that into a one and make that into a ten. Now we need to. We can't jump across columns, so we need to borrow from this ten, which will now become nine, and take that one there. And then borrow from this ten, which will now become nine. Take that one to there, and now we should be able to do it. 10 take away 5 is 5, 9 take away 4 is 5, 9 take away 2 is 7, and 1 take away 1 is nothing. So there we have it, £7.55. Either way, you should get the same answer. If we scroll down, we'll see what we've got to do next. Emily buys two scarves and a hat. What is the most she could pay? Well, we've already said that the scarves are seven ninety five, whichever one she buys. So she's going to be having two of those. So seven ninety five plus seven ninety five, and she buys a hat. But we're interested in what the most she could spend. So she's obviously going to buy the most expensive hat. Now the most expensive hat. I need to unrub these. Most expensive hat is this one, £6.50. So she's going to be buying the £6.50 hat. Now if we add all these prices together, we'll have two scarves and the most expensive hat. 5 plus 5 plus nothing is 10. Carry the 1. 9 and 9 is 18. Plus 5 is 23. Plus 1 is 24. Put your 4 in, carry the 2. 7 plus 7 is 14, plus the 6 is 20, plus the 2 is 22. So she's going to be spending £22.40, which is the answer we need to write in there.